to my channel. Today I am going to share with you uh, a childhood favorite of mine that my dad used to always cook. Uh, he used to always make me a hash brown ham and egg scramble and I just love it and it always reminds me of my dad. Um, but of course back then uh, he was cooking things you know in butter and grease and since my lifestyle change, I try not to cook in grease and just make things a little bit healthier. So I'm gonna show you today how I've kind of changed that recipe. I cook uh, the majority of it in the air fryer to make it uh, non-greasy and healthier. So let's get cooking. For this recipe, you'll need four eggs, some shredded cheese, a baked potato, which I have cooked in the air fryer already at 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. I like to use frozen veggies. I It's just me and veggies go bad. So I tend to get uh, a lot of frozen veggies and they work just as well. And then I have some sliced ham, which I will use uh, two of these ham steaks. I have garlic oil in my Misto sprayer, garlic salt, and pepper. Let's get started. To start out, I'm going to preheat my air fryer. I am going to set it at 360 degrees for 15 minutes. And while that's preheating, we can get everything ready. So I try to stay as low carb as possible. So I do only use one potato for this recipe and we're gonna go ahead and dice that up. I find it best using a baked potato uh, that's already been cooked for this recipe um, so that all we're really doing is just warming it up and crisping it up. I'm gonna throw it all in the bowl here, skins and everything. The skins have a lot of vitamins and it's good for you uh, and it tastes great too so I love to keep the skins. Now when my dad used to make this recipe he used to make it with frozen hash browns so just trying to cook all natural and so that's why I like to make my own hash browns from scratch. Next up we're going to dice our ham. I have two ham steaks here on top of each other. Uh, to make it a little bit easier and we're just going to slice it up into small pieces. I have now got my hash browns and ham in a, a bowl and we're just waiting for the air fryer to be ready. All right, let's get this all mixed up. So first I'm gonna put down my parchment paper. Then I'm going to take my ham and my cut potatoes and throw it in there. Then I'm gonna take my diced up frozen onions and peppers and toss that in there. There is a very large one in there that we will cut for later. And now I'm going to take my oil, but you can use whatever oil you like. I love garlic, so I always use garlic oil on everything. And then we are going to season it with some garlic salt and pepper. Just however much you like to your, your liking. Um, you, know, you can season a lot, you can season a little. I'd say I probably put a, about a, a pinch to uh, an eighth of a teaspoon in there, and then we're gonna mix it up. Now I tend to make a larger portion, because um, this is way more than I could eat in one meal, but during the week it's, it's busy. I work a full-time job, and I don't always have time to cook breakfast in the mornings. So I like to make extra so that I can just uh, throw it in the microwave and heat it up, or I can always take the insides and put it into my low carb tortillas and have a breakfast burrito. So we're just gonna put that back into the air fryer and uh, let it cook and in about seven, eight minutes, I will get in there and mix it all around. All right, it's time to check on our food. 
smelling good up in here. I'm just going to give that a nice little mix around and pop it back in there for another uh, eight minutes and we'll check in on it again. In the meantime, I'm going to scramble up some eggs, crack them into the bowl. And one thing I like to do that I actually got from my mom is she likes to add just a little bit of milk into her eggs. It makes them, I think, light and fluffier and have a really good taste to them. So we're just going to add a little bit of milk. And I really like pepper with my eggs, so I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper. You can, of course, use any seasoning that you want. Uh, like I said, my favorites are, are garlic and, and pepper, so I incorporate those in a lot of my dishes. Um, but of course, not in every dish. You, you will see some other spices that I use. So I'm just going to whisk this up really well in the bowl, and then I'm going to cook this on the stove in some olive oil. And then once these are done, our food in the air fryer should be done, and then we can mix it all up together and have ourselves a good breakfast. Alrighty, we're just about done in the air fryer. I've got my eggs all scrambled in, into a bowl, and I'm going to add about a quarter cup of cheese to my eggs. And then let's go ahead and check on this air fryer. They are looking done. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop that all in to the bowl. It smells so good. Get it all in there. And then we're just going to, as I make a mess, mix it all up. And you have a very tasty, uh, healthy scramble. It is, it is so good. Every time I eat this dish and make this dish, it, it just brings back all those childhood memories and uh, reminds me of my dad, and I just absolutely love it. My dad uh, was big on cooking, and he taught me a lot, as well as my mom. So I like that I've incorporated a lot of uh, dishes that I can still eat um, from stuff I've learned from them. That's it for this week's video. I would love to hear any breakfast or any dishes uh, that your parents used to cook for you that you now cook today uh, to remind yourself of them. And leave it below in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Have a great day.